Okay, all of the squares are completed and this is the layout for sewing them together. As you can see, we have all the squares, two, four, six, eight, and the triangle with the square part of it matching up to there. Now what you're gonna do is fold these in half right here and this one and this one and this one fold in half corner for corner and put it in there and this one corner for corner like this now it looks like a stocking okay we have the other pieces that we have to put in so you're going to take this one up here and flip it this one flip it and this one flip it the other way okay and then you're going to put these up here like this flip this one and like that and now you're ready to sew okay this stocking has a front and a back okay you can see that now what we need to do is stitch along here you stitch these two together on this side here and keep going down this way and then stop this one is already stitched together right here you're going to stitch it together here along this and down here this is already done this is done and this is done and this is done because they're all folded okay after that you're going to stitch here and here and here then it's easier to just do your rows and stitch this way and this way and this way I have started putting them together and this is the stitch that I like the best this is how it looks right here I think that's kind of a nice way you can do it whatever way you want to everyone stitches squares together their own individual way but this is what works for me and I'll show you how to do it you're going to put the wrong sides together and match them make sure that you're stitching in exactly the same stitches I have a slip knot on my hook and I'm going to start between the first two stitches or popcorns sorry insert the hook pull it through and pull it through now we're going to go behind this popcorn and insert the hook insert the hook behind this popcorn yarn over pull it through and pull it through and now go through this space between the next two popcorns yarn over pull it through pull it through we're basically making slip stitches here don't make them too tight though and then we're going to go behind this popcorn into the this stitch here in the matching one over here yarn over pull it through and pull it through okay the corner is done and now you're going to go down the side we're going to be going through the matching stitches here just doing a slip stitch 
put it through both sides in a slip stitch. And slip stitch. And slip stitch. Slip stitch. Slip stitch. Don't make it tight now. Make sure it's not too tight. You don't want it to pucker. You just want it to look pretty. And then we're at the first popcorn. Put it through that one. Put it through the matching popcorn on the on the back one. Pull it through through the space. There it is. Through the space. Through the popcorn here. And then stop. I'll put in a stitch marker so I can show you. I wanted to show you what it looks like while I'm sewing it. I'm using my stitch marker pins to hold it together. Some of it is stitched and some of it is not, but I just wanted to see what I'm doing here. And that does make it a lot easier. We're starting the cuff and I've already done four rows. It's very simple so I'll just explain to you what it is. You're going to attach your yarn at the end of a square, any one, it doesn't matter, right at the point where you have sewn them together like this. So you're going to attach your yarn, you're going to chain one and single crochet all the way around and then slip stitch to the first single crochet and you will have 42 single crochets. Then you're going to begin round two with a chain three. This is round two, double crochets. You're going to double crochet all the way around. When you get to the other end, you're going to slip stitch to the top of chain three. Beginning round three, chain one, single crochet around and slip stitch to the first single crochet. Beginning round four is chain one. That's this round here that looks all cute and fancy. Chain one and that is your beginning of your round and then chain five which is this loop. You're going to skip two singles, skip two singles, and single crochet in the third one. Then chain five, skip two, and single crochet. And you're going to do that all the way around. When you get to the other side, attach it where I've attached it right here right at the beginning right there. Round five is chain one, single crochet 
in the first chain, excuse me, slip stitch in the first chain, slip stitch, slip stitch in the next chain, and then go underneath, I'll show you, go under the loop, bring up a loop, and complete a single crochet. So now you have a single crochet up in there. Now you're going to chain five. And single crochet in the next chain five space. Chain five. and single crochet in the next chain five space. Do that all the way around. When you reach the end of that round to attach it, you're going to put it right here, right where you began. I'm gonna do a slip stitch right into there. it will look like this. So do two more rounds just like that and then I'll be back. So this is what it looks like now after rounds six and seven. And now we're going to begin round eight. And to do this we're going to turn our work. We're going to be working on the back side. I can get this in front of the camera. There we go. All right, we're going to work on the back side here. Get my yarn on the. Wait a minute. There we go. All right, so we're going to chain three. And that counts as your first double crochet. We're going to double crochet in the same place. Then we're going to chain two and two doubles in the same place right here. Two more doubles. This is called a V stitch. It's chain three and a double, chain two and two doubles. So we've made a V stitch. Now we're gonna single in the next chain five space, just like the last row, we're gonna single crochet in there. And then we're going to V-stitch in the next single crochet. Two double crochets. Chain two. Two double crochets in the same place. So now we have two, two V stitches made. Single crochet in the next chain five space. And V stitch in the next single crochet, which is one, two doubles, Chain two and two doubles in the same space. Do that all the way around 
And when you get to this back to the first one here, you're going to attach it right into here so that it matches. It looks like this. It has to look like this. So just attach it right in there with a slip stitch. And I've finished with the cuff and this is what it looks like. It's going to turn like this. Okay, that's the lower cuff. There are two, an upper and a lower. Now we're going to start making the upper cuff. We are going to be working into this round of single crochet. In order to do it properly, you have to turn the cuff down so that it looks like this and work on the inside. I already have my hook ready with a slip stitch on it. Insert your hook into any stitch. You're going to do front post single crochets, but first thing you have to do is a slip stitch to get it started. So there's the slip stitch. Front post single crochets. Insert the hook underneath the post. Yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over, and pull through to complete your single crochet. Go into the next space underneath the post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through to make a single crochet. Once again, into this next space under the post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, that's a single crochet. I'll do a couple more, a few more here so that you can see what this is going to look like. So what you are going to end up with is a nice row of single crochets that are standing up so that we can continue with the next round. So do that all the way around and at the end of the round when you get back to here, when you get back to your first stitch, do a slip stitch into the first one. I've just completed that round and slip stitched it and now we're going to start round two with a chain one and we're going to work this round on the right side so you're going to turn your work and work on the right side right here chain two more so now you have a chain three double crochet double crochet all the way around in each single double crochet in each single around. When you get back to the beginning, insert your hook under the chain three and slip stitch to close it. At the end of this double crochet round, insert your hook, yarn over, pull it through, pull it through to close. Chain one, and start the next round 
we're going to do all single crochets all the way around. All single crochets. I've done four. One, two, three, four. And what I have to do so I know where to stop, I always put a stitch marker in that first one. You don't have to do that, but because this starts at such a low slant there, if I don't do that, I'm going to forget. So anyway, do that all the way around single crochet all the way around. When you get back to the beginning, insert your hook where your stitch marker is and place a slip stitch to close it. I'm at the end of this round, so I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet to close it. And now we're going to start the next round, chain one, and we're going to turn it, okay? We're going to be working on the inside again, okay? Chain three more, excuse me, four more, three and four. So we have now five chains, and we're going to skip two double or two single crochets here and single in the next one. So skip one, skip two, and single. Chain five. Skip one, skip two, single in the third one. We're going to do that all the way around. Chain five. Skip two, single in the third. When you get back to the beginning, here you're going to insert your hook into this stitch here and slip stitch to close it. This is how it looks now. And we're going to begin the next the next round with a chain one. Insert your hook into the first chain and slip stitch. Insert into the second chain and slip stitch. Insert your hook into the loop. Pull up a loop. You have two on your hook. Pull it through. You've made a single crochet. And now we're going to chain five. And single in the next chain five space. Chain five. single in the next chain five space and you're going to do that all the way around until you get back to where you began and once again because I need this so I know where to stop I put a stitch marker in that first one this is what it looks like at the end of round five now you're going to do two more rounds exactly like this do the same thing two more rounds. Start it exactly the same. 
chain one, slip stitch into the first chain of your chain five loop, slip stitch into the next chain, single crochet around the loop, chain five, single crochet into the next one, and continue. And remember to put your stitch marker in so that you remember where that slip stitch goes at the end of your round. We've just completed that round and now we're going to do the last round. Chain three. That counts as your first double crochet. We're going to double crochet in exactly the same place, chain two, and two doubles again in the very same place, the same stitch. And that is called a V stitch. So after the V stitch, we're going to single crochet in the chain five space right next to it. Single crochet. And then we're going to do a V stitch in this single crochet. So yarn over, double crochet, yarn over, double crochet, Chain two, two double crochets in the same space, you've now made a V stitch, a single crochet in the chain five and another v-stitch and that is your pattern single crochet in the next chain five space make another v-stitch in this space here in the single crochet do that all the way around when you get to the other side you're going to match this right here this is how you know how to end your round it needs to look just like all the others. So in order to do that you need to insert it in this stitch right here and do a slip stitch. This is what it looks like finished and it is about 20 inches, 18 to 20 inches finished. This is the cup that we just finished and you fold them down so that it looks like that and there you are with your beautiful vintage Christmas stocking. <laughs>